Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity Upper in corner. We have Zen starting as the white Protoss upper left in corner. We have Shafir starting as the yellow Protoss. I don't know who to call as far as... Because Shafir, really good Protoss, but... I don't know, it feels like he might be a little bit out of practice. Zen, the tournament organizer, willing to bet he's feeling sharp. And actually picked a game off whip, which was... If he, if he actually exited the bracket over whip, that would have been a big hurrah. This is on Polypoid, by the way. And just a reminder that I do cast these live on Twitch. I've had to shift uh, had to shift when I'm doing it to Tuesdays, Thursdays at... In fact, I should update my Twitch title things to more uh, 3 p.m. PST plus. Usually, like, I don't know, 3.20-ish is when I'm able to do it. But I like the... I don't know. I love the Twitch audience. All the people in Twitch. It's like more, I don't know, I like the exchanges, I like seeing the chat in between. Intimate, it's nice. It's like YouTube, it's like for the people that are just kind of watching on their lunch break daily. But Twitch, there's just kind of that camaraderie, I don't know what to say otherwise. <clears throat> anyway, pylons dropped by both players, neither player going for proxy tech. Looks like gateway plopping down for both. So neither player going to risk the 12 Nexus in PvP to start. We'll see who gets the scouting advantage, if either player. Sneaking around. So I'm thinking about sending out that scout, but opting against it, bringing it back to home base. It looks like Shafir is going to scout bottom left first. And Shafir going to open up with a double gate. So two gate opener. Shafir opting for a simulator. This is a map where I believe you can defend. You It becomes dicey, but you can defend with the gateway simulator opener. And Zen looks like is also going to get... Well, let's see if he goes cross scout. Going cross scout. That's unfortunate. If he had gone to the upper left-hand corner, would have known where to send the Zealots. That's one difficulty of going double gate. Two gate. I'm not sure I feel like saying double gate here. <clears throat> On four-player maps like this, is, is you're not always sure where to send your troops. So Probe going to check out bottom left. He's going to be able to confirm, okay, not here. Cybernetic score warping in. First cell being produced. Pylon on the edge. And Shafir actually might be able to scout this before the Zelts are even heading the right direction. One Zelt holding the ramp in the meantime before it has marching orders to know where to go. Zelt holding the ramp opposite side. Additional pylon warping in. No Dragoon as of yet for Shafir. So Probe going to wander up. Three Zealots starting to march out in the field. Are they going to catch that probe? No. So now he knows where to head. Probe actually able to sneak through. And that actually can be a more significant thing than it seems. Because being able to come back and do some disruption. Back across the natural expansion. And also scouting everything. Pretty good deal. <clears throat> First Dragoon will be here. Three Zealots marching across. It looks like it is just going to be a full Zealot flood here. Because there's a 4th, 5th, and 6th along the way. So Shafir is going to need to defend this. Heads up. Probe hiding to that back corner. One probe dedicated to that attack. The Zelt's working on that single Zelt on the front. He is gone. Now working on the probes. That is gone as well. One Zealot down. Front door breached. Second gateway not yet up. And the Dragoon missing some shots as it's walking back out. So that's going to open up the probe line. And more Zealots marching their way up. Now it's going to be a tough defense. One probe down already. And Shafir was already behind in the overall probe camp. Probes now engaging. But Zen already getting a lot of success out of this. Second Dragoon up, although his Zealots waiting at the bottom of the ramp on that rally point, which is unfortunate because if they went ahead and marched up to be able to get some bonus damage done here. I'm wondering if Zen is... I don't think this is calculated. I think this is just a whoops maneuver. So two Dragoons out. Six worker lead. Probe still hanging out. Cybernetic square up behind this. And the two more Zealots actually able, because the Dragoon's not holding the ramp, able to march right back up and get more kills. Wow, Zen going to town. Ten workers left. Three Dragoons out. So Zen... Yeah, Shafir just out of practice, is what I'm going to say. Shafir just kind of GG right there. Yeah, Shafir can play better than this. I've seen him play better than this. I think he's just, yeah, somewhat, somewhat out of practice. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Regardless, thanks for listening.